Hello, right, welcome back to Motorsport Manager, the last Motorsport Manager I shall be doing. And actually the, the anti-penultimate, or, or something like that anyway, so about three to go I think, uh, before I finally finish. Right, we changed the other drivers, we got Amanda Malay in now, and we got Molly in as number one driver. A lot of that, but don't think it was status with, she's really number one. She's the only one to score a point this year. I'll set the cars up. Uh, all the good part, all the good parts are going to Molly. Now I don't expect Amanda to do much at all because she's not that brilliant at the moment. But I've got high hopes for her. So we will uh, travel to Rio. It could be right to qualify in the race. Now I hope in the race it comes at the right times for us. We could do with a point. There's one more race to go after this in this series but uh, that will be played off screen when we get round to it <laughs> no more trying to scratch around to find things to put in there and trying to find things to say alright now we're waiting for real to load in uh, not a too bad a track I quite like all the tracks in here really except for the two the two or three city ones which are all 90 degree bends it seems but this is a nice flowing track driving on it will be fun I like to have bike around that track right her feedback is awful he's not happy at all as you can see she's worse than that but she's got potential she can go to a, almost a five star driver if we can keep her alright we we do her first and she is load set up Rio track I uh, Yes it seems funny now, only got a bit one of each of the remaining ones to do. This, this is the last of these I'll tomorrow record. I think the last of the uh, Blickling. That's the one. And then the uh, day after B should be the last of the Family Farm series. Uh, and from then I will be uh, doing one special. I should imagine a lot of people guess what I will be basing it on, but uh, you'll see. I'm not. I'm going to try not to say anything, but I am a blabbermouth. Right, let's get Molly set up, and she's got the other one of these. And she's got tired choice. We're going to do the same tires again, as I normally do. Practice will be taken fully, and I haven't turned my headphones on. I better just do that. Uh, stints will be race trim four laps. Well, I only do one lap because I want to find out how it's going. We get good idea right from the start how things are going. Um, that's it. Off she goes. And uh, we bring her in. And bring in Amanda. We'll have a look at Amanda until uh, Molly comes into land, which won't be that long. And no, have a look at Amanda until Molly comes into land. I think I might have said that the wrong way around. I don't know. I never know what I'm saying anyway. And. Palmer is now in and it's a little bit out. So we we'll try her on the other setup first. That looks like handle if I could go another one that way. And I think that would look better there. We'll try her there. See what happens. 89, not good, but not bad. Not all. A similar thing here. This is the opposite way around. Um, that one. And we go straight out with what she's got there. We just try that without doing any fiddling at all. <coughs> be nice that she hit it spot on right from the start, but that isn't going to happen. So who gets out first? Well, there's going to be Molly out first. And uh, Amanda isn't going to be far behind. Uh, we might as well wait for her to come out. 
And we'll watch Molly round this time. Pull the half lap she's still got to do. With uh, Malai, all I'm thinking about is she finishes. That's the so only aim in this race is to finish. Anything else doesn't really matter. Oh, that looks a bit better. 96, still not quite there, so that is. Let's just bring that up to there and just tip it back. Oh no. Back very slowly. Get there. Let's see what happens there. Give her another lap. And we're just waiting for a man to come in. And very similar. A bit hesitant to change too much. Up on the top here. Now just just tweak it out just a smidgen out that way. Let's see you know smidgen is a very important engineering amount. Very precise. And if you believe that you believe anything. I've never been an engineer but I have been a mechanic in the past. The main difference is an engineer can make things and a mechanic is one up from a fitter. A fitter just fits bits. A mechanic can make simple, very simple things but, and make things to fit, whereas a fitter just fits what's there. That's, that's my definition of them. And I always consider myself one up on a... Oh, I'm wrong way on it. One up on a... Uh, so one up on a fitter. So we just bring that back to there, no, it'd be too far that way I would say, no, we want to just bring that out there, right, I'm going to count that as done, so I'm going to run her out now for a full stint, if she gets uh, come back, no, how close is this one going to be? Time will to 97. Well, it's only one, then we can shift. I'm going to leave her alone. I'm going to leave her alone for that. And we'll follow her for a, for a lap or two. She's not going to be very good at feedback, but I'm never that worried about feedback, to be honest. I never go by that. I go by my tr tried and trusted method, having two setups for each configuration of a trap, of a track, or both slightly different to each other, and work it from there. Wait for it. Run through, they both run through now. They're going to be green on this lap for obvious reasons. It's their first flying lap. She's being caught by the one behind the lay, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. Let's see how. Well, yeah, a bit out at the moment on speed. Palmer is. Also slightly out, but not as far out. We we'll run with Lay this time, then we'll change her and watch that one. Now she looks like she's improving again, whereas Palmer certainly isn't. Uh, yeah, well, she's improved, but not by by enough. Well, let's have a look at Palmer next. I think this one I'll go back to the originals and get it up to full spec on race trim and then worry about qualifying trim if we've got time at the end. 
Our palm was still in probe and spear gone up one. Where's the light? It seems to be stuck at the back, but that was to actually to be expected. Huh? Not gonna lie, I don't expect her to do anything much at all in this race. I'm not expecting to do much until midway from next season. And let's see who's, who's in front. Oh yeah, Palmer is in front, so we're, we're almost at there. So I think what I'll do is I'll put Palmer to go out on qualifying trim. We'll get a few laps on qualifying. We may get, well get one anyway, possibly two levels. Oh, look at that. Oh, do you see that? 98. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm a genius. And she goes out for qualifying. And she will go straight out again and then come straight in again. Because we will have full. Now she's got full knowledge, so we'll bring her straight in. And she go out and qualify, and she may just... So I don't think we're going to get more than one level of qualifying. But... Oh, she's having a look. I think there's a Ferrari she's having a bit of a battle with. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, they're both coming into pit, this boy. <laughs> I just sort of thought, hello, she's found some pace. Hopefully she won't be quite as moany as uh, the other guy was. And she's not already forgot his name. He's a reserve driver now and he's not happy. He, he certainly wouldn't sign again for us. That is uh, race uncertainty. I think his contract ends this season, so... Uh, We'll be looking for another good young driver to come into the spare seat. Palmer can't improve. Now, normally I suppose the second or third lap on qualifying trim they improve, and they may not get that, of course. But she should get another lap anyway, Palmer. Oh, she did improve on that last set up to 12. Malay is 20, uh, but she's going to get another lap out. And she's actually got a bottom. How about that? It's a Williams bottom, though. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? They have been awful this year. I'm glad they have been awful. They've been the only team that's really been worse than us all through. And Palmer finishing in 12. Lay, I think I can prove in again, getting a bit more speed out. And enough to bring up another place. But the two behind, Tictum and uh, Carol, have both got a finish. Tictum hasn't done it. And no, Carol's up. Mind you, the, the next bit test us the uh, actual qualifying. I mean, we won't bother too much with this. No, we weren't at the ra Yes, we were at the races. We were there. We were on the track. Didn't you watch us? Sorry, that's a bad, bad joke. I know, let's wait and get qualified, don't I? Be glad when we get rid of this free system. Free go system. I don't like it a lot. Qualifying Trim uh, and Ultras. He's got no uh, help from a mechanic yet. We still can't get Molly up to that 100% with a mechanic to get that last bit for the race. It wouldn't help here, but my God, it's helping the race. Well, we're not changing the setup or anything. We will simulate the session <coughs> and see what happens. Um, I don't think we've got time to get another. Oh, well. Oh, Malay's got out again for another one, but hasn't helped. 
17th and 19th, at least we're not bored. We're not holding the rest up. That, uh, oh, Williams is bottom. Yeah, but both ourselves and Williams got done, and that's the one of the Red Bulls. Similar again, because we've still got no interest in the rest of this at all. I rather have about 10 minutes before I think you've got time to get about two, possibly three laps in, and just. Rather than this is. It's just my own personal taste on qualifying. I still prefer the way we used to do it on Club and Motorcycle Racing. Put your hands in the bag to pick the number out, and that's your grid start position. I must be one of the few riders not to want a front roll of grid position. I used to hate it when they drew a front roll of grid. Everybody's eyes were on you. Especially on a push start race. I used to like being at the back or oh, possibly in the middle of the grid. Middle of the grid got a little bit uh, hectic going. Now they've got on a bit of weather again. Uh, well, we actually got away with that new rain, didn't it? Uh, you know, I know we Yeah, but she would have. She's new. Give her some uh, credit. Well, it doesn't look like it's... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't look like it's raining at the moment. I'm sorry about that, Carl. Uh, we'll, we'll probably clean and forget to do anything about it. Alright, we put the harder tyres on both, I think. Uh, car set up. Yeah, we don't want the tyre choice, that's what we're looking at. So if we go with that, it should get about 12 laps. No. That should get about 30. We could do that with one stop, can't we? go with those. We're not going to do that as a one-stop shop. We know that. So this is a bit, this could be a bit more interesting. Now she, it's going to be touch and go. She might just get through without a stop. Depends how many times she flattens her tyres during the early part of the race. We try it anyway. If Nothing else you can go out. You know a pit stop near the end and go out on set of ultras. Set these two up now. I'm not too worried where everybody is, where you will know. And know what's this way. There we go. Oh, we better have a look at Palmer. She's a uh, if she was the best one, she's dropped right to the back, then she's gone off. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not a good start. So much light is doing best. Hopefully, oh, Palmer is catching the pack anyway. Red Bull don't seem to be having a very good time, are they? Malaya's got... Well, well, let's have a look at this. This is uh, remarkable at the moment. No oh, Palmer's already peeled, picking up places. So just remember to slowly put uh, the tyre wear down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's in with them. She's mixing it. Oh, Palmer's dropped them back to 20. Now, what normally happens with this old, after about 10 laps we start to drop back. Uh, I think the lane might already be starting that. Ooh, that was close. Up one in, just in front of a Della track. He almost uh, caused my lane to back out to drive into him. I think he's a mild driver. Mm. 
much. He's not doing bad, you know. No, I normally want Palmer to finish in the first 15, but I think it might be touch and go this time. Top 8, I think, is out of the question already. Top 8 is already 6, 7, almost 8 seconds away from 7 seconds away anyway. Oh, she's more at 13. Yes. She's given us a better race than uh, the other guys did already. Palmer's a bit worried this time she's got the best car. Whoever does best here will get the better parts of the last race of the season and uh, Jay's just come to uh, give her opinion and is walking all over the desk in front if you hear anything through the mic it's, it's our Simonese are like cat. Seems to be making a real mess of getting back into the bed. Uh, all these soft tyres are beginning to work towards the back of the field. There's only Bottas who's uh, not. The Malay is still holding her on just. He's losing ground. Well, she was losing ground with the front and rear off her, but. Palmer oh, needs to soon start picking up. She really does need to somehow squeeze her way through without a pit stop. Uh, Malay, I'm more than happy with. She's in the top 15 just. Now let's see what's happening with the weather car. I'm trying to find where we... That is. This me most. Oh, right at the end. Oh, so actually, they both need to get through to about lap 35, 36, then changed intermediates by the looks of it. We look later on the race to see uh, how long the rain lasts. Lie up to 14 for because we've got pit stops. Oh, yeah, Whitman who already had a pit stop and dropped behind because of that. It's no picking up places again. Palmer has dropped back to 20th. Don't look like in this class we're meant to have one car doing reasonably well, more than one car doing reasonably well. And by reasonably well, I mean in 15th or better place. <laughs> No, I'd like to see some accidents, not our drivers, obviously. <sighs> Lotter is way back, actually, especially on ultras, he's soon have to come for a stop, so he's going to drop right back. And there they are, they're starting to drop back now. Uh, Prince Malaya, another place, but that's only temporary because here can Ricardo. Pass her back again. Well, he's just trying to anyway. She's happy. She's doing well. Yes, I'm. I'm happy. That's that's the time normally won the seven draws. Quite often grumpy. Yes, a little sort of pantomime type joke. There should be shown to her behind you. Perhaps not. And yes, they're all coming in now. Those who had to start on the uh, on the qualifying tyres and who are coming in. MLA is still 15th, and I think it's time we knock the fill use down. And Palmer is, oh, she had gained another place, but she dropped back again. We watched Palmer for a little while, I think, just to see what things are like really at the back. Well, she's 
she's two and a half seconds ahead of Lotara at the moment, but he will he will catch her, and he is catching now two seconds behind 1.7. She's soon gonna be last again. And though one of the Williams has gone nuts. The uh, I think the Japanese. Shall us just have a look, see what he. If I recognise the uh, flag. Yeah, he's Japanese. If he's up to 11th, that is not good enough. Well, actually, it's too good. We don't want them getting a the point. That is must they must not get a point if we've got a ram and we've got to stop them from getting a point <sighs> no lot was right with palmer and yes there he goes he's a better far better driver than any of ours I'll begin to wonder on this if we should just bring in one top class old driver, past his best, not one for his team, and bring him in for a season just to see if we can get some a little bit higher up the order. Although I prefer playing like this, trying to get what's basically a bad team up. And how are we doing anyway at the front of the field? It's uh, McLaren, Mercedes up there. Oh, sorry, Mercedes first. And followed by the two Ferraris. Lonsquist still hasn't pitted. He is ridiculously easy on tyres. Still one or two haven't pitted, but, uh, but only there's two on the uh, super softs who haven't pitted. Not too many people start on the middle tyre. Most people either start on the softest or the hardest, I found, in the game. We tend to start on the hardest on the hopes that we might just once be able to get all the way through a race now. Have a look at this. This. Yeah, so if we get to about, be about lap 37, I should think, we will split, think we'll bring them in. I think the watching Palmer here is a bit dispiriting, especially if she's got the best car. And she's the better driver of the two. This one has more potential, she has a lot more potential than Palmer. Palmer is at a peak and will soon start to drop back. So I've got to get in another young driver to go into the reserve place to take Palmer's place after next season. One more season I would have thought with Palmer and she'll be past the best. But we still need to get more work done on the uh, car itself I've got to save myself enough money you know, to uh, build all the good parts we could we've got a, we've got a good designer we've got good race engineers driving a little bit lightweight hopefully McVay will put that right in about three or four seasons time and she ain't gonna have that long at the top oh Not certain what age they start to go off in this. About ten laps to uh, to think about pitting. If I just looked at the weather forecast at the start, I might well have went softs on uh, Palmer or super softs on Palmer. I mean. Lay would have been, I think, softs anyway. She's not quite as easy on tyres. I haven't noticed any flat spot on the tyres in this one. Now Hartley, oh no, Hartley is dropping back a bit. We're a long way behind Cardo. No, McClay, so she's not 
wanting to improve and it's just a case of whether she can hold 15th and it's touch and go I would have thought so Gillard should come in I would have thought this time to pit looking at his tyres at near the front in 7th place but McLaren uh, Mercedes, so Mercedes are not having a very good time on Uh, fifth and sixth at the moment after the first round of pit stops. And uh, Ferrari's a first and second. I think that's Ferrari's championship. It depends what they do come the rain. It's getting closer. Well, I think we can push the uh, fuel a bit now again. Hello, first crash. Oh, we're not going to finish last anymore. Pity he was uh, sort of bound to hope was Palmer for last place anyway. Yeah, Stu, there's one crash for you. One burning car side of the track. Maybe a few more when the rain comes. And Lotter has caught McClay. She, he will soon pass, I would have thought. A lot quicker driver. And who is Williams doing? He's still 11th there, number one driver. Oh, their first driver, the Suma. Doesn't look a bad driver, actually. <laughs> Could do was get one of these good ones, you know. But he well, can't afford a good drive, and they won't come to us anyway. We really have to breed our own drivers. If you excuse the expression, there we've dropped to 16th now. It's fair enough, I think. I don't think we're really up to get much higher than that. Palmer, oh, she's only just behind Corolli. The second Williams. Nineteen laps to go and about four laps to the rain. Uh, might be slightly less than four. Keep an eye on that now, keep an eye on the weather. get up into the top a regular top 10 would be a help <clears throat> and that's my aim for this I'm not thinking I'm going to win the championship we need to get some more money into the team I'll well, well, She's got worn tyres now. And we're not quite into the rain yet. Well, when it starts, she can come almost straight in. Yeah, so not going to be long now. She's still, Palmer's still got problems getting past anyone. Hell, the rain started, right, uh, where is, the, I'm going to bring her in this time. She's got worn tyres, so it's not probably the right time to do it. And we will get away with just, yeah, with just those. Once now everything there is fine, we charge a battery, we'll put two charges there and we go standard. Not worth worthwhile risking it for And we have 
and we've dropped back to last, but she's out on the crack tyre, no birds. Just get some warmth in turn. Her eighteenth and nineteenth now. Um well, ignore that now, it's lost where we Moses again. Oh, there it is. Ignore that just for now. And we'll go over to Palmer. And when she comes in, about here, we're going to pit her now. Park conditions, everything's fine there. Recharge. We're going to risk a double charge. And we're going to risk a fast stop. Oh, you know, a little risker. And away in last place. Now what we've got to do is hope those in front of us decide not to pit. Might sound an odd thing, but if they decide not to pit, we're going to catch them. Okay, just uh, knock back the tyres there. And they're all coming in now. But it doesn't take them long to pit, that's the problem. But they don't pit, they lose a lot more time. We may gain a few places, or a place anyway, if the Williams pit. And they're going to have to anyway. Ooh. But a lot of her tires way back. Just notice that Molly's tires were looking distinctly second hand. Uh, yeah, um, Malay, um, yeah, Malay is starting to catch people now because they haven't pitted. So much about everybody else now has to see the Williams there is. Neither Williams has pitted yet. That is a bit, a bit unusual. Let's go to Malay. She's at the sharp end of this pair. And she is actually catching up to Hartley quite quickly and he's coming to pit so he's dropped right down uh, and the Williams has pitted, both Williams have pitted no easy places now well Malay's back where she was in 16th and actually Palmer's picked up a couple of places through the pit stop And they've both got reasonably good, well, Malay, well, Palmer really should be looking at it. Uh, Palmer's about nine seconds ahead of the 18th place. So somehow we've got to just hang on now. Not as good as I hope, I hope for one of them in the top 15. Still time, though. But not as much time as there was. Yeah, it's going to stay wet the rest of the race. Oh, well, Palmer's actually picked up a lot of place on a lot of time on Hartley. No, Malay is not going to catch Fettel. Fettel down in 15th. Oh boy. Where's the number one Williams on 13th who dropped a couple of places through the stop? And the decision, the idiotic decision to hang on. Too many laps just to hang in there and hope. A couple of laps, yes, but uh, not 10 laps. Yeah, okay, I can criticise the other managers. <laughs> Especially they can't fight back.
Hmm. But lie is possibly going to lose 16th to Palmer, but that's a good first race for her, and she can say she can only improve now. I'm sure that her tyres are getting a bit warm. So it looks like it's between green and yellow to run her tyres on. Four laps to go. And I think we're far enough ahead of the field. Not really to have to worry too much. Oh, I just see that her... That the light... Needs to be lapped again soon. I know it's a fool. There we go. We can, we can push her up to a slightly more burn on a fool. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Palmer's passed her, but uh, 17th, I don't think we're going to complain too much about that. Well, the way this season's gone is about average for us. Not going to help our sponsorship uh, drive, but uh, it can't have everything, I'm afraid. Now, the way team hardly starting to catch us again. It's a bit worrying. He shouldn't do that. Or final lap, anyway. He'll three seconds behind. That's the final lap, so I'm just going to push the fill burn up on both of these for a short stretch. Well, until the fill runs out. Just to make certain that Harley can't catch us. Yeah, we're there. Completely south, they both say, but we won't last. <laughs> you can tell I was a bad book, so a race of cut, yes. All I'm worried about is not finishing last. Berline wins for Ferrari. Leclerc with third for Ferrari, and Basic Mercedes were nowhere. Well, I think the points, but uh... all right, we'll have a quick go around see what it looks like at the end, of, right at the end of this bit. Once there, and all that, I'm not worried about that. They all come around the same time. Screw it now, there's no problems there. Uh... 16th and 17th, we've actually done better on our qualifying positions. Which is something. And we're... Uh, we're still above the Williams, our, our best driver. And we're still there for... There for we're no place in the constructors, that's the one that counts. Uh, no, not a minute. Not talking about us. You actually want to be talked about now. It helps your uh, sponsorship deals. More people are talk about you, more sponsors want to be part of you. To... Let's see what happens here. Oh, cheers. Yeah, she's still improving. Just three, just hit the full three star now, by the fella. Another three million, almost three million loss. But we can we can carry that, and we've got one part in production at the moment, or in design at the moment, which will hopefully will help next season. We hope. 
don't think there's anything here we need to worry about now. No, we're not doing any food. Uh, slower pit stop, that's not too bad. Want any, no mistakes. Pit crew is here, we just do that. See what we've got down here. If we've got any good ones here. Well, that's not good. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Front jack. Well, that's not too bad. We'll take that. Yes. And we might just take the. Uh, oh, we'll take that one might help out. No, we want to remove all the time. Guys can bring in the new ones for us. Go on front jack. Let's see if there's anything better there. It's basic way we do that. Ah, this that can go in there. That's all. The rear jack, so I think the rear, that's improved us. That won't, because he's... Let's see if we're getting better here. No. We're now looking for those who are 2020. This one is one of them. This one I think will go in here and that will be fourth best. Best we can do. No sponsors coming, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber, don't bother because I'm just about the end of my stint on here on YouTube. Any comments, questions, queries, suggestions, feel free to post them in the comment section. I read everyone and I try to reply to everyone. And I will continue reading, reading them as long as the channel is live. I won't be shutting it down, but YouTube might. I've spoke about that at length in the past. <laughs> uh, uh, with that, I think it's me and Cheerio for now. Cheerio.